long time I realize I gotta get the propane on. Hold on, people. Well, I can still say it. Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I can I still am. say it. Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass. Okay, I, I, I'm you're hearing it Time again. Time to melt let some me, glass, me, my friends. Let me uh, get that. There you are. Here I can still say it. Turn on the torch, light up the flame. <laughs> you're gonna hear it a half a dozen times. Time to melt some glass. Okay, I, I, I'm you're hearing it. Again. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Um, thanks for being there. Um, I have an idea, and uh, it's working on wigwag tubing. Uh, thank you for being live and ready to go. I realized I forgot to turn on the oxygen, the propane tank outside right before I got on, so I had to uh, run outside just really quick. And uh, what we're going to be doing. Uh, very similar to this, and I'm going to pick out a couple of colors. Uh, hey, Computer Master, nice to see you. Uh, uh, nice, uh, glad that people are out there and saying hi. Uh, but the wigwag pattern tubing that we're going to do today, I'm going to click over to the other camera angle real quick. Here we go. And here is what it looks like. It has some very nice tight swirl patterns going on. It almost looks like my um, my uh, paisley patterns, but it was made basically straight lines and then wig wagged it back and forth and made a little tighter. But this time I'm not going to do it as tight as this one, but I also probably it's only going to be about an inch or so long, and that way we can I can do it from start to finish and. Also, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just the idea of the pattern going on. Right, right, right. So, without further ado, we're going to just uh, get right on into this. Oops, you know what? Another thing I forgot to do, and I might have to, you're just going to have to put up with the glare if I can't find all the, the lenses I need real quick. Um, tighten that in a little bit. And. We've got to put the lens over the screen. And the one that I've got, I know is going to probably fall out with my luck. And I just took the, the tape that I could probably use to put it all together with. Oh, here's some. This is what you call last minute adjustments to make it work, right? Right. And since it's a little wide, what I want to do, I've got to put the lens nudged and taped in there both sides it's gonna work now clean it hard way of course and I'm gonna put it over the camera oh come on it's not gonna be it's going to be a little less snug than I want it. Maybe I could put this on the back side, cause it to be a little bit more snug. That'll work. That should work it on the back side. Here we go. Uh, all right. Murphy's Law is working good time on me here. Let's try to get this to work. Thank you, people. There we go. Uh, we're on. We're live, and sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to to. Uh, so let me also. One of the things I have started doing lately is getting my oven going, and with the work that I do, it's made a little bit of a difference. So, without further ado, let's get this torch work going. Let's tilt that a little bit this way. You can see more of the, the torch itself. And let's light it up and get her going. Of course. Well, that's a fire. Hello, Paula. I don't know if Green is is there or not. Brian? Oh, your friend Brian from school? 
Uh, no, he is in Michigan, and I am in, uh, of all places, uh, North Carolina. That's who you're talking about. Hey, Adam. Glad to see you made it, too. Now, let's get this, uh, this idea. I, I wanted to show you the pattern, and again, it's not going to be very big. It's only going to be like about an inch long. I'm going to use, uh, I wouldn't say scrap is on my table, but that's where it's going to start from. And we're going to those together. And from where you see that bump to the end of this tip is where you're going to see the work go on. Hey, Demented, nice to see you're up and running too. I'm glad to see I've got a, a, a lot of people. I guess that wigwag is I know I've been, most of the video shows that I've been doing is from uh, Adam's place lately. And I, I wouldn't apologize for that because I haven't had a lot of fun over there at Adam's place. He has a bigger sport. Hey, Brian's right there. Hey, nice to see you. Everybody's here. That's good. I'm, I like this. <laughs> okay, first of all, to start the wigwag pattern that I'm going to do, I'm just basically going to line, I've got some white right here that I'm going to use, and this is a China opaque white, I believe, something I picked up from Adam at one of the trips over there, uh, grabbed some, uh, some white that he gave me, okay, um, that's the white, let's do some, let's do some jade green, I've got some jade green going here. There we go. I'm going to put jade green on just one side of the white. And then I'll put a blue, a turbo cobalt. That might work. A nice, and maybe even a, a bright, like I've got a yellow I think I can work on with it. Okay. That's not very big. Uh, not very long. But it's going to show you what I want to do. And it's, uh, i got some yellow. We'll put the yellow one next. There we go. And showing you how it starts from scratch is, is one of my basic keeping uh, demo straight down. Okay, now some turbo cobalt for the final line color. I think, oh yeah, there, there we go. And we're probably going to leave it, no. We'll figure out, it. oh, there's orange. We'll put orange in there. Do we have another one? We'll figure it out, a red, probably a red will do. But we got room, so I'm going to put another color alongside that, or in between that and the white. Here we go. A little bit of turbo cobalt, and I'm only doing it one line to each side at this point. Uh, warm it all in because I have been playing and thinking about it instead of doing sometimes. Here we go. Uh, that'll work. It's still like a ruby. Amber, it's in the amber line where it's going to turn clear while I layer it on, but later on as it gets struck, it's going to come out a whole lot better. Okay, I did that one on that side. Now we're going to do this one on this side. And we got a complete layer of colors back and forth. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, layer the whole thing one more time. Um, or encase it one more time and clear. And I'm going to pick this up a notch. See what we can do here. Anyway, and now we're, uh, how did I have to do it? Oh, that's right, it's never mind. It looks like I didn't do anything, but I know I coated it and cleared it. 
Oh, you know what I did? Wrong side is, but I'll do it again. One more time. Never hurt. I want to do it on this side. I think the other side will get it right. Yeah, I think you were right. I'm going to do it one more time. Anyway. There we go. Now I'm going to layer it here all the way around. I'm going to blow it out a little bit and then uh, start the wig vibe pattern going on. And when you're heating up or layering clear or any color on top of another piece of tubing, the idea is to heat up the rod or heat the rod that you're putting to it, not the actual tubing. Because if you do that, you start flagging the, the tubing itself and it causes more clumping going on in your watch. Just be careful when you're doing it. And make sure you, especially where it's like that, if you see me pulling off at the bottom, that you pull off and really heat it up well so that it does not cause a strength and crack problem at that spot. And as short as I'm making this, it's a really quick swipe up and down. I should be able to finish this with the rod that I have in my hand. And then once I do that, I'm going to blow it up a little bit and then start the good rag pattern going on. And this is going to be a very tight wig rag pattern that I got. Now, keeping track of what's going on inside the room, it looks like more chat than my son Brian, which is a good thing. He's got to have friends too. <laughs> if anybody has a question for me, don't forget to chat it up. Okay? Now, here we go. Got like one or two more uh, lines to clear to go over the whole thing. And when I do those nibs down at the bottom like I do, that just shows that it's a little bit longer than the color, and that you know that you've done a line of clear over that. So sometimes you can't see where you layered the last clear to go on to the next line. Clear that way, you know, you just can't see it even though it's there. So making that little nib, you can say, okay, I can go a little bit further down the low, throw and uh, melting after that spot. Okay. This is completely layered all the way around. And now I've got to find where it is. My blow hose. I can tangle a hose. I can tangle a cord. I can tangle anything. Oh, what a tangled web is, but the best thing about me is that's an untangled too. Okay. I like to see what I've got going on. And I saw this video, and I tried to ask for permission. And I'll uh, put a link to it anyway, and if he doesn't like the idea, he'll probably see me on the back. But, uh, this is where I'm getting the basic idea for this. It was some furnace work that I saw done just a couple of days ago. And it was like, whoa, I've been doing wig and I've been doing it, but I haven't done it like this before. So basically, this is going to be even a tighter pattern than what I'm used to doing. And you saw what it looked like, almost that paisley type uh, layer stuff that I've done before. It's Right now I'm sort of sitting in a slight puff, making sure the tubing is, is uh, the encasing that I've done, most of the air bubbles will come out of it, the way I line the uh, clear over it, I just sort of reverse back stack, I guess you could say, or reverse the thread. I'm trying to keep the line straight at the moment. And we'll see what I'm going to do later. This is basically just to uh, get 
basically get the uh, the, 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 uh, the colors all blended together. Basically, so they're all one piece. You know, just lined on top of each other. Almost there, and then I'm going to stretch this. Again, what I've been basically doing is trying to keep the line straight. And then I'm going to start waving them back and forth for just a second. Okay, I'm now going to stretch this a little bit. Pull it on. This is still hollow. That part is fun. That's a wig glad shooting. Okay. Now we're back up to the top tip. The basic idea. Okay, I'm going to press this down just slightly. Give it a sharper flame for a while. I'm going to heat it up right about there. And I'm going to twist it in just one direction. One good twist will do. Just off the camera. Give me a, I'm going to try to tuck that in just for a There we go. And it's going to fly down again. Maybe I should lift this down a bit. There we go. That might be a trick. There we go. Um, I did one good tight twist. You saw that? Now I'm going to go and leave about a quarter of an inch to an inch. Heat it up. And I'm going to do another tight twist in the same basic direction as I just did that twist. Okay? Here we go. Oops. You can get it see it hot all the way around. Here we go. One tight twist. Okay. I'm going to go do the same exact thing one more time, or at least one more time. Go down and twist in the same direction. Okay, here we go. So right now we sort of got S curves going on. Now here's where the difference comes in. Now I'm going to heat up right where we left the first gap. And I'm going to twist it in the opposite direction this time. Hopefully my dyslexia will work for me instead of again. Here we go. You've got to make sure it's pliable. And then I'm going to twist it. Same way I did the first one. Not the same way, but the opposite direction of that first set of twist. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the gap between the second set and do the exact same thing again. Here we go. Oops, I just think I did a bum spot. I had to go up a little bit further. Try it again. <laughs> I just gave it a little bit more tighter, tighter twist going on here. And here we go. Lifting in the opposite direction. Flatten it out a little bit more. And I think I'm going to heat it here and twist it in the opposite direction a little bit more too. There we go. Oh, yeah. See there? 
nice back and forth wave pattern. And in the past, what I do is, and I'm sorry, I, I haven't made too many wedge wags in, in the past either and made it right. But in the past, what I do is I heat up that and twist it and then heat it up and twist it in the opposite direction. And what this does, it gives it more of a pronounced twist back and forth, if you ask me. And I really did like what he did in his way. And just uh, making it work into um, making it work into a um, a viable pattern, I guess. And now I'm going to switch it in the opposite direction again. Now, if you want to, you can now go back over it and twist it tighter. As you go. There you go. That's some nice wigwag twist going on. Now I'm gonna again I'm gonna even make it I'm gonna try to do it just a little bit. And also what I'm gonna do is condense it down into a, a, a just almost a bubble or a ball. Press it together. Oops. Start condensing it with the, the uh, tubing in a nice way. It almost had a blow off there. It was kind of thin. It was thick and thin. Even the folds and feet to be even more so. I can't see. Oh, I didn't notice. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't. I. I. I've been paying too much attention to the. Sorry about that, folks. Well, I guess they're not working up. There we go. You don't have it? Yeah. No. I need to get a tighter, another camera like the holder is. There we go. Sorry, people. I got it. He can't call me because my phone's in the house anyway. I'm sorry. He can just put me out of my misery, okay? We got it now. You know me. Yeah, it just sort of walked around itself. But we, we got this. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was getting into my work and not paying attention to the chat room. I'm sorry. I, I can't. <coughs> <coughs> I can't apologize enough. But at least I corrected the problem. Didn't end good and forgot to do what I'm supposed to do, which is what let you guys watch too. But how am I supposed to know that Murphy will, Murphy's Law is working overtime on this today? This is if you want to do a reversal red wag, not a reversal, but yeah, well, I'll show you. Just to add a little bit of 
technicality to it. I'm going to blow this into a, a sort of a round ball. You can see the wood bag pattern turned out really, really nice. Back and forth, swirl, back and forth pattern. I really am excited about that. Okay, I'm going to pick this up a notch. There we go. Speed it up and help it roll faster. is the side that I've lined it down to the bottom. I'm getting a lot of that. Oops. I think it looks like hollow. Reading and pulling it all off. Here's the blow hose and hit pull off in one spot. I'm going to blow it out. Do it in that hole that I just made up here. Good thing. Cut it off. Now I'm going to elongate it in the other direction. And you'll see some interesting pattern going on. I get hot glass in my hand and I get itches all over my face, nose, and eyes. And I, maybe it's the tea that I taste, and I don't know. Now it's just a matter of elongating this, taking your time, letting it sort of heat. You're not trying to just blow it out, you're trying to basically stretch it. You start to see it roll. Not roll, but in itself. I'm going to round it into a I might even twist it slightly. Round it into a ball.
I wish you guys could see the boy stop growing. The color swirl, the variation going on there. I'm going to let it cool down now. You can see it, but I can see it on camera, I guess. There you go. It starts to get, you can see the most of the coil cars going on the both sides. I just keep the line straight. I guess I could start swirling and make a little bit more of a complicated wood lag. Ah, why not? Just a little bit. I'm not going to do much more to this tubing. I might just set it aside and let that go. But you can see the uh, definite patterns that you can make with wig wax that uh, it's really are I mean, in your beads, in your uh, pipe work, and uh, speaking of pipe work, I've been thinking about extending, instead of having a hot, piping hot glass art channel, actually putting my pipe, making pipes on this channel as well. Uh, if you guys can give me some comments and uh, questions or answers on that, or what your feelings are, whether you want me to keep it still 15 with not doing pipes on this channel or not. Uh, Please let me know. I, I'm very, uh, I'm very tempted to just go ahead and start making pipes on this channel, and I want your opinion on it. Because you are my audience, and you are, you are what makes me who I am. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool. I'm gonna show it to you, and I'll make something out of this later on. But. I really like the way the swirl patterns went on. And it got uh, quite complicated, I guess you could say. Um, here, let's switch camera angles. Maybe we can see a little bit more. Not a little bit more, but uh, different ca camera angle anyway. Uh, there you go. Showing what the colors and stuff showed it came out like I think you can see it if not oh, darn well let's let's now it's cool enough we might even switch over here let's try it again on this this camera angle there we go and I need to save that so I can see oh yeah you can see that the the, 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 the patterns turned out really nice the vortexes the swirls uh, and you can see that you can play with it a whole lot and get some interesting results. I mean, if you got more vibrant colors. Also, some of the colors that you, you can't see on this are the reds. Some of the yellows came out, the blue. But some of them sort of went transparent until it uh, cools down a little bit. 
and the, even the yellow colors and stuff will not really show up on this until it cools down more directly. There we go. Pretty nice, if you ask me. Pretty, pretty. Um, Carpe Vitro already. <laughs> now, is, is that still hollow? Yes, it is, Paula. It is hollow from tip to tip to stern, or tip to end, end to tip, I guess you could say. Uh, that's the way I work my stuff. If I want it hollow, I keep it hollow. If it collapses, um, to give you an idea that it's still hollow, <laughs> I won't do it. Uh, actually, I will blow it out and then just layer it back in. But to give you an idea, this is hollow all the way through. Not to, not to make you doubt in comments, but sometimes it's better that way to prove it to those around it. I'm going to blow out a bubble. There's a little one. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just go ahead and instead of blow it out and make a hole, I'm going to just swell it up a little bit. There it goes. You can see that it bolts out quite nicely. I'll do it again real quick. And I'm actually going to push that a little bit more on that. Bolt it out. There it goes. You can see that it's completely hollow. While it's hot, I like the place to go. What can I say? Give it a little bit of a point. Twist it some more. Just on the end. Give it up a little bit more and call it quick. Also, just out of view for the marble. That's one of the things I did. I tried to kick that marble in the shot and it slumped, slumped the, uh, the lens cover that I put on the thing. Sorry about that, folks. And there you go. Any request? Christmas is coming. I can do that right now. If you have an idea of a little figurine or animal, I'll do a three or four minute figurine. Why not? We're live. People can ask and request. Huh? Let's see what goes on. And then I'll, uh, I'll close the show up for the day. And again, that was a lot of fun to do that. I, I enjoy the wigwag patterns and what's going on there. And that that I will put the uh, I will put the reference of where I got the ideas from. But he was doing furnace work, and what I'm doing is of course torch work, and it goes a little bit different and a little bit more to uh, uh, to a few things. Anyway, uh, any requests? Now's the time. Anyone, anyone, anyone. <laughs> um, of course, Christmas is coming. Angels. Uh, I've done a ton of angels. I'll have to admit that. Uh, Seahorse, all the ornaments. Also, um, on the Melting Memories page, I am going to put up real quick a picture of a spider. Why not? Let me warm this in real quick. A picture of my son. He uh, He sent it to me. Uh, via Hangouts messenger type thing and in it he layered two of my glass eye or put two two of my glass eyes over his eyes it turned out pretty cool <laughs> put one eye bigger than the other and I guess you could definitely win a staring pattern or a staring game with that what, what I'm doing with this is a dichro Vortex type, well, a thing I did, and one nip on the end here is kind of, kind of, uh, just a little chunk, 
So I'm basically going to heat it up and pull it out. And when you heat up that thing, you got to warm it all in because you don't want it to crack and shatter on it. I already turned on the oven. So that can go there. So here we go. There's that, and I'll do a quick. I haven't done any spiders in a long time. Done crabs, done scorpions. I haven't done a spider. But that's Halloween, and I'm thinking more towards Christmas, but we'll do it anyway. Cap. I apologize for having a cold well going on. That's what you get when you got a smaller oven. Um, I'm gonna here. Let me show you which oven I'm talking about. Switch to the other camera. Now it is right here. This thing. It's a smaller one. It's a jeweler. It's a, just a nice beating type oven. Uh, gonna work on getting. The, uh, a temp controller on it. All it is is basically a thermostat where you put a number on it. I usually turn it off at about uh, an hour or so. I need to really get going better on my annealing, but that'll cool it, heat it up evenly and cool it down a lot more evenly than I work. It, it was getting cooled down before. I had only been bench cooling a lot of the stuff, and it, it, this will give me a better and my um that's a better size for sure okay okay one spider and i'm not going to make this very very special oh, let's do a white spider <laughs> why not tiny one too that way it gets done a little faster We're going to make this from the uh, back to the front. And he's going to have, he's basically going to be a white spider. Okay. First we'll make, we'll work on the abdomen. We'll work on the red section. You know me, I love doing miniatures. Oh, you know what? I do need to ch switch over to the other camera so you guys can see a better angle. Let's do that. Sorry, folks. When you're working your own, you know, your own cameraman and your own uh, production and also star of the show. fun part about making things this size is making sure you've got, um, matter of fact, I think I've got it sitting right here. I'm going to give it blue legs because I can. Uh, no. I, I won't use that blue, but I, whoo, no. Three or four different ways of doing this. Actually, I do have some blue white that I can use. I've got to just make it a center stringer going on real quick. Right, right, right. Shout out to Lou. Sent me some links. It was your Dicro video. <laughs> I'll have to tell him about that. Interesting. I, I'll, it's nice to know that I'm getting views because of other people's way of. Well, anyway, yes, I might. Let's just make some nice stringers here for the legs. And I'm not going to do pretty legs. Yeah, you, I am definitely not. Uh, there's a few people that can make finite detail stuff go on. And I need to get better at that, making it more detailed and more finite. But 
just going to do some basic legs. And then the fun part is doing four of them to each side. Without melting the other four that, or three or four that you put on there already. Now, one way that I did this, I, I, I sort of did this wrong. I, I'll, I'll do it different. Actually, I'll, I screwed up anyway. I'm going to fix it. One of the ways that you can do this is actually do one dot line for each leg to make sure you got room for it. Like so. the other side the same idea make sure I've got room but what if you just put the dots on that makes sure you have space for them and also what happens is is that you can weld those in a whole lot better each leg you know the base of the leg anyway without it uh, melting the whole leg you see last one got together we'll leave it now then you can go back and add to each one of these there's one two having a finite flame, having control of what you're doing instead of melting it all together. That's the fun part. Make it work for you instead of getting you. Sometimes I'm not always putting it right in the middle of the flame, but right on the edge of the flame to give me the results that I want. You don't have to get right in the into the piece of the thing to get what some results sometimes, okay? And one more of these guys. Should have put the head on first and then did the, the, these legs so that the legs won't melt on me. But I think I can still pull it off and put the head on here too. An albino spider. That sounds cool, right? I know albino, but you say albino, I'll say albino. It's always there's always an angle to get your glass melting that you want and not anything else it may be close to where you got other things melting too but not there's always an angle you just got to find it guys it, it's out there you just work your torch and learn your, your, your parameters You want another Thor's hammer? Steel wool and red exotic. I'll work on that, Brian. Now, the eyes. We're going to just do some green eyes here. Why not? Eight-eyed spider, right? Don't they have eight eyes? Some of them. <laughs> you know, it just look like a spotted green head. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for Ragnarok to come out either. I'm uh, looking forward to it, and uh, I might even break down and watch it in the theater. That's something for me to do because I haven't done that in a long, long time. But Ragnarok, seeing Hulk and Thor, two of my uh, childhood uh, idols, comic book idols, I should say, uh, added, I think that would be a cool, cool show to go watch. Yeah. Putting a loop on its 
abdomen so we can hang. With that, I think I've done an interesting spider. Not the best spider in the world. Got the job done. Somebody is messaging me on, let me see, something else. Okay, I gotta stop. Let's go ahead and uh, I think I'm done everything I want to do today. Well, let me tap that off the fire polish it. There we go. I'm giving you direction. I'm not giving, you know, some of the stuff I do isn't exactly the best glass artwork in the world. Like I said, I'm not the best artist in the world, but I have a lot to offer and show you. And again, now you can see the uh, two of the things that I did today. Put that spider in the oven. And this, I'll just have to, well, I, no, I don't. I need to raise it slightly and put a couple more ceramic bricks so I can stuff some uh, stuff in the side to anneal some of the tubing that I do. But the way I do it here and let it cool the way I do it, it it's still okay for that that respect. Anyway. Huh. With that, I think it, it it's in theaters now. Okay, yeah, I know like but I still gotta no, not not that. I just need to Probably next week sometime I'll have some days off to, to go and to watch that, I think. That'll be a cool thing to do. Now, let's, uh, without further ado, change camera angles. i got to talk to that cameraman, either give him a raise or so he does a better job to, 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 uh, to show me off better. <laughs> but until then, thanks for being there, guys. As always, I enjoy it. And Carpe Vitro, and enjoy your day. Now, let's see if I can do this. There we are, I'm shutting that down. <laughs>